Greetings everyone, welcome back to Corpse Party Book of Shadows, and uh, it's been six months from what I saw. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot I had my music playing, hold up, gotta turn that off, uh, okay. It's been six months from what I, what, from what I saw, um, and actually I need to check where we are, I guess, um, wait, hold up, gotta move this over a bit, um, endings list, a total of three endings, perfect, <laughs> we are still, we are not close to completing Shangri-La, god damn it, come on bro, I hate that this damn cursor just decides to move like that, um, but I don't know where we are. I'm go I'm still gonna try and get the true ending for this chapter first. Um, but God, I'm so far down. Scroll. To God damn it. Okay. Gonna scroll all the way down to here and load. Okay. I need to move my keyboard over because I don't really need my keyboard all that much. Move it over there. Okay. Um, now what? So, I don't know where I'm at. Hold up. Can I open up the map? I'm currently on the first floor. Right there. Okay, let me just read through the instructions first. Because I have to look over here. It says, Descend the first floor, second floor stairway. Enter the music room. And watch the ensuing scene. Head to the school's entranceway. Examine the bloody looking shelf and choose to check it out. To obtain the old key. God, there's a lot of steps. Holy. My. My on earth. Um. Hold up. Let me, let me go look at my previous video real quick. Okay. I now know where I'm at. Um. I gotta lower the v music a bit more. Or the, the volume of the game a bit more. Um. I now know where I'm at. I just got the copper key. Uh, I just got the copper key. So now I had to head to the hallway outside classroom 4A and unlock the door with the copper key. Okay, 4A though. 4A. Where is 4A? Is it up here? Yeah, it's right here. I, I really hate the movement of this thing. You know, I really don't like the movements. Because they suck. But, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the classroom door has is locked. Not for long, though. It's locked up tight. Maybe the copper key can open this door. Uh, use the copper key. If I click, the door unlocks. Okay. Let's go inside. It's unlocked. Okay, I have to do the whole map thingy. But actually, I initially had the... I had the, the voice volumes off. Why are they on? Uh, map. Then enter classroom 4A. Then after that, we got a... I'm actually almost done. Damn, okay. Head to the hallway outside. Okay, enter the classroom and examine the shelf to obtain the alcohol lamp. Okay. It's an alcohol lamp. Looks like it's still got a... Decent wick and plenty of methanol in it too. Aren't these head or aren't these handprints on it? Or aren't these handprints on it though? In blood? I hadn't noticed them at first, but Meat Scheme was correct. There were small bloody handprints on the alcohol lamp. Small enough that they most likely were made by a child or children. I don't know about you guys, but this lamp gives me the creeps. Um, still, the more light source, the more light sources available to us in here, the better. This wasn't something we could leave behind. It was a real stroke of luck that we stumbled upon something so inherently useful. Okay, I need to move my camera a bit because it's kind of covering my screen. Well, it's because I have my screen in the corner, but I'm also looking at my webcam, so I'm just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Head to the pool now. Okay, and we're just going all over the place now. <laughs> we're just going all over the place. 
After we head to the pool, we gotta attempt to head to the staff room. And you should come across a hole in the ground. Okay. Where is the staff room again? I don't know. It's so dark here. We should try taking a light with us, don't you think? Uh, sh shall I try lighting the alcohol lamp then? Light the lamp, right? Uh, but it doesn't tell me to not light the lamp. It just says head to the pool. Oh, no, it says light the lamp. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, I don't know who's Fukuroi. Is it him? I, or her? I think he's Fukuroi, actually, so... Uh, that would certainly be a lot brighter than a candle and should burn longer as well. Yeah, okay. Here, I've got matches. Uh, we found them in the music room earlier. Okay. As the wick flared up, the whole hallway was bathed in a warm blue glow. And somehow, the darkness just seemed to shriek away from it. Powerless against this unexpectedly capable opponent. Okay. We gotta go to the pool now. Oh, Emmy! Oh, what the heck? Uh, Urabe, hey, Urabe, stay with us now. Collapsed on the ground was someone both of my companions clearly knew. She wore the same uniform as Yamato, or Yamamoto. Both Fukuroi and Yamamoto immediately ran to her. Or ran to her side and began attempting to rouse and console her. <laughs> Thank God you're alive. Are you okay, Arabe? Are you injured at all? And what about the others? Toko or Kizami? Do you know if they're alright? Uh, no! Frightened out of her mind and now conscious... Uh, the now conscious schoolgirl slapped away Yamamoto's outstretched hand and shot to her feet. Hold up. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, damn. Damn. Mitsuki, what's wrong? Arabe! Or what? Oh, okay. Uh, get a hold of yourself, Emmy. It's me, Mitsuki. And uh, Fukuroi's here, too. No, 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 no. Get your hands off me. I have to run. I don't... You catch me. She darted her head around wildly, surveying her surroundings quickly and frantically like a wide-eyed fawn who sensed a predator closing in. What on earth could have happened to her? It was as if her own paranoia had completely drowned out the sounds of her friends and classmates. To such an extent that she didn't even notice them. She was also, um, per, per, what? Per, peck, uh, perceptibly shaking, okay? A lot more than she would from the cold rain alone, and her teeth were chattering. Something had truly spooked her. Emmy? We're all going to die he's going to kill us ah! okay emmy wait it's not safe to be alone in there oh, we've got to go after her god what did she see i wonder she must have come in contact with death itself to react so strongly perhaps a murderer on the loose maybe i should join them in their, in their chase but I have no responsibility here. This isn't my fight. They did accompany, accompany me in my search for Mayu. So I'd like to do something for them in, in exchange. But things but things seem in disarray right now. And I'd prefer not to get caught up in their mess. I'll resume the search for Mayu on my own. Solo acts have always suited me the best after all. Okay. Now... We gotta go to the staff room. Where's the staff room? <laughs> oh, I miss you so more than you can more than you can know. Tell me where, oh where did you go? Mayu? That was Mayu's voice. I'm certain of it. What? Okay. Mayu, where are you? Mayu, answer me, please, Mayu! Mayu! Oh, 
Okay. Who's Nari? Look, there's a walkway to another building. Let's go. Okay, Nana? Or Nana? <laughs> um, or, okay. Nana is probably over there somewhere. My name is Nari Amatoya. I'm a 7th grader in um, Musashigawa Girls Middle School, Class 1-6. Nana is a friend I've had since I was a little girl. Her real name is Nana Ogasawara. She'd been with me up until just recently, when we'd randomly gotten ourselves separated in the halls. I did still have another companion with me, but, well, she wasn't really someone I could count on, like, at all. Chihaya. Wait, Nari, my feet are tired. Ah, <sighs> that's how it all, that's how, or, that's how it always was with her. I lost count of how many times. How many things she'd found to whine about in this place. This was Chihaya Yamase, a fellow member of the drama club. Never satisfied, but never willing to do anything about it. Drama fit her to a T. If Nana were with us, I'm pretty sure she'd give in to Chihaya's whining and insist we take a break. But I'm not Nana, and I won't be guilted so easily. Then have a seat. I'll go on without you. No! But you're too tired to walk, aren't you? I can walk. <laughs> it really was just like a leading. Uh, it was. It really was just like leading a child around. She was as spoiled as can be. I truly felt it wasn't possible for any human being to be more spoiled than Chihaya. But that. Um. But it's not like I could really leave her behind. You know, she'd be dead in no time flat, as helpless as she was. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Eep. Uh, the hell? That's dangerous, you know. The ground is slippery here. I can't just jump in. Uh, you can't just jump into me like that. But the thunder. You know, thunder isn't exactly a rare and mysterious danger or anything. It's certainly nothing to get worried, uh, worked up about. Do you jump and grab onto people's shoulders when it uh, when it thunders at home or at school too? Uh huh. If Nana is around, it's usually her. <laughs> okay. So am I supposed to be her proxy then? Nari, are you mad? Not ex not especially. Je uh, let's just go, okay? I'm sure you'd rather grab onto the real Nana rather than settling for a poor substitute like me, right? Why am I? Why is it so dark? I know my lights are off, but my ca webcam just looks dark. I don't know. Uh huh. Seriously? You're just going to agree with that? <laughs> Damn. What's this one I mean? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that doing that? Okay. Uh, this building seems a lot more... This building seems a lot more run down than the other ones. Ooh, that, that thingy right there. My head kinda hurts. I'll give you that one. I guess this is what they mean when they say the air feels heavy. We shouldn't stay in here any longer than we have to. I wonder if Nana is really in here. Well, all we can do is look for her. I'm sure she's doing the same right now. So we're bound to run into each other sooner or later. That's probably her head right there. <laughs> How soon do you think? Maybe Nana is already... Again with that crap. Just stop, okay? But... Don't cry, damn it. I'm scared too, you know. I told myself that I was going to find Nana in this second building. Uh, come hell or high water... Failure was not an option. Hmm. Okay. Now, we gotta go to the staff room. Um. Right here. Okay. Uh. I'll come back for all the bad endings. I'm just gonna stick with the main ending for right now. There's a large hole in the floor here. Blocking the way through this hall. Okay. Uh. Now what? It says, ascend either one uh, first floor, the second floor staircase, then head to the hallway one west to north of the art room, then pick up the battery pack, which should be lying on the floor. What? Okay. Okay, now first floor, second floor, where is that? Right here? Right, right, right here? This is where I go? Right, right there? Hopefully. Because 
that's the staircase and I gotta go to like uh by the art room mm. okay click the button uh so um, west one west two north okay right there that's like kind of just yeah makes sense it would be there we gotta pick up a battery pack though and then return to the hole in the ground on the first floor and things should progress okay the dull gloomy corridor suddenly lit up brightly just for just a moment and that moment something came visible where what's right there okay. uh there glinting in the dim light sat what appears to be a component from some electric device in contrast with everything else in this school, it seemed like a fairly recent item, a decade old at most, but likely much newer. What do you suppose this is? I'm not really sure, but it, it kind of looks like a battery, maybe? Hmm. Maybe somebody brought it, um, brought a beefed up phone or a game system in here. Might as well take it with us, I figured. Though, if I gave it to Chihaya for safekeeping, it would no down wind up on the ground again somewhere so i decided i just pocket the thing okay now we gotta head all the way back we i don't know why we need the battery pack like we get the battery pack and then go to the hole and then what how, how would things how would things uh go i don't get it i don't know um and then note two wrong ends in this chapter require you to replay a portion of the chapter after attaining the true ending. This would be a good point to make a save or reload later for that purpose. Okay, so I'll save here. Um, on the other side of the hole, there was now a man collapsed on the ground. I couldn't see any obvious wounds on him, but he wasn't moving at all. It was hard to ascertain. Uh, it was hard to ascertain details in this dim light, but he seemed a bit too big to be a middle schooler or high schooler, and he wasn't wearing a uniform. Who is that? Seems a bit too old to be a student. I is he dead? I don't know. Um, are you alright? Are you injured, maybe? Still no response. Maybe we should uh, chuck something over there, or maybe that would be a bad idea. N Nari, look, this was lying on the floor over there. A camera? Wonder if it's his. Ooh. It was a fairly expensive looking DV camcorder, and a well worn one at that. With dings and chips all over it, none the, uh, nonetheless, it looks like it probably still worked. It's that guy. Yeah, it does look like him. Ah! <laughs> what is it this time? Mayu, where have you gotten yourself off to? Mayu, I swear, I heard your voice just a moment ago. You can't be far. You were singing about missing me? Are you okay? Have you been injured? Are you afraid? Are you lonely? Damn it! Or, damn it, Taguchi! What the hell is keeping you? It's been well over an hour. I'm, I'm waiting here to exchange information with you. Uh, when I could be out searching. Taguchi is the, the guy with the camera, right? He's collapsed on the floor. Damn it, god damn it! Why has it come to this? Uh, Mayu, I don't care about anyone else. I just want you to be safe. Just you, and I'll be happy. The hell are you looking at? In my agitated state, I kicked a pair of hallway slippers that was sitting on the ground nearby and they flew right into the dead girl's face. <laughs> what are you doing sitting in a place like this or like that anyway? You're dead. You're not worthy of such an honored seat. You're an eyesore. <laughs> What's that look? You think I'm strange? What gives you the right? You goddamn stiff. I grabbed her jaw and began shaking it around. <laughs> I was a bit startled by the sensation. It felt just like I was touching living flesh. Except this person was very, very cold. Cold as a statue. A statue covered in skin and muscle. But a statue nonetheless. 
What am I doing? Have I lost my mind? What else would I be venting my anger at? Um, why else would I be venting my anger at a dead body? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I see now that your eyes have been sliced up. So you really weren't looking at anything, were you? <laughs> hmm, what's wrong? Cat got your tongue? If I'd asked you this a few days ago, I've no doubt you'd have been able to voice your objections and slap me right in the face. Miss Arisa Kaida, pity. Get it together, Sak uh, Sakutaru. Okay. If you keep this up, you'll never find Mayu. Besides, this poor girl is an unfortunate victim. She's done nothing wrong. Want to know a secret, Kaida? You're quite the looker right now. But you're just going to rot from here on out. Just rot and rot. You'll rot until your flesh, flesh gets all soft and mushy like soup. Your skin starts to stretch and sag. And your eyeballs spill out of your head like raw eggs. The smell you produce will be fouler than any toilet in every part of you. Your face, your mouth, your bowels will become a maggot chow. <laughs> but before that happens, yes, let's preserve that beautiful form of yours, shall we? I flipped my cell phone back on and switched it to camera mode, centering the lens on the lovely Miss Kaida. Her slashed and broken gaze was focused ahead of her at a downward facing angle, yet in contrast of these injuries she wore a peaceful expression on her face, almost as if she were posing for me, just waiting for me to hit that shutter button. <laughs> what a lovely visage. This will make a splendid picture. Superb! Have you ever heard of a French film called Un Chien Andalou? I don't know. It reminds me so much of it right now. <laughs> Might it take another? God. <laughs> you may just be more charming now than you were when you were alive. Mm, yes, I think you must be. I mean... Just look at that face. The line formed by those stiffened cheekbones. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just so erotic. And those cuts on your wrist. I tried poking her wound with my finger and heard a moist, squishy sound as my fingertip was swallowed up. She'd gone cold, but I guess there was still some blood left in her. Either that... Our decomposition was already well underway. I pushed further in digging my fingers through the gaps between her muscle until it struck something smooth and hard. Hmm. I've struck bone! This vicious chill embellies the steadfast strength of the marrow within. It's almost sensual. As I drew my face into her forehead, a few particles of perfume scented the foul odor of sweat and sebum that had uh, here before been assaulting my nostrils. <laughs> Sealed in a place like this, unable even to wash your hair, but you still found the time and energy to groom. How delightful. And yet... The smell of death and blood suits you so much better. So much better. What the fuck? <laughs> I. Uh. What the hell have I been doing? Why have I been taking pictures of corpses? I suppose they do say. Stress is, stress is the real killer in situations like this. So anything I can do to relieve my built-up stress <laughs> isn't so bad. Yes, it's all just happenstance. There happens to be a corpse in here, so I... 
Come to think of it, Taguchi was taking footage of the corpses in here as well. And he said he was doing it so he could file a police report. One hour has long since come and gone. Perhaps it's time I search for him as well. It's entirely possible that he met with Mayu and is accompanying her. After all, in which case standing around here will accomplish nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Amidst the darkness of the corridor, I spotted human figure uh, living this one. Okay. Uh, two of them. Oh, this is still more Shiga. Okay. Both female and both much younger than I. I approached them without making a noise or saying a single word to announce myself. Ah! What is it this time? Junior high, I'd guess maybe 12 or 13 years old. One was clearly much more fear prone than the other, as she'd wrapped herself around her companion's arm and was actively trying to hide behind her. She was looking in my general direction, but with the lighting as dim as, I, as it was, I had no idea whether or not she could see me. And while finding survivors in this land of the dead was a rare occurrence, Indeed, my focus was squarely on the man sprawled out farther down the hall. He was unconscious, possibly worse, and an uncrossable gap separated us. But I definitely recognized him. It was Taguchi. <laughs> um. Damn. Is Mr. Taguchi dead? Was I concerned about him? Did I feel for him? Honestly, no. I felt nothing whatsoever at that moment. I was simply asking because I was simply asking because I was curious. I'm normally calm and stoic, sure, but this seemed cold, even by my standards. Did I really not care one way or another if you were dead? Hey, you know that guy? Not really. But you just said a you just said a name, didn't you? Uh, here, I think this belongs to him. Uh, give it a look. The girl handed me a beat up DV, uh, DV camera. No doubt about it. This was the same one Taguchi had been looking into when I met him earlier. I took it without a word and merely tried to turn it on, but to no avail, it had no power. Battery's dead. Doesn't seem like it'll be much of, uh, much, uh, be of much use anymore. I think we found its battery pack on the ground, too. Here, try it out. Okay. Uh, the hell is his problem? Okay, he says. What kind of social reject accepts a stranger's kindness like that? <laughs> Not that I need thanks or anything, but still. Nari, don't worry. He's not even listening. I placed the battery pack into the DV camera and immediately saw the red power light pop on. Still full... A fully functional by all appearances. Now I can check over the footage he's collected. So what are you doing here? Huh, um, well, we're looking for our friend Nana Ogasawara and Hikari uh, Kirigami, fellow students from um, Musa Shigawa Junior High and some other from the Senior High. Um, my name is Nari Amatoya, and this is Chihaya Yamase. I see. Middle schoolers, then. Ha! <laughs> the litter of you two reminds me of Mochida's sister. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a senior high s uh, student, right? I I'm looking for someone, too. Her name is Mayu Suzumoto. Have either of you seen her? You know, it's proper madness to introduce yourself before you start asking questions. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm Sakura, um, Sakutaru Morishige, an 11th grader at Kisaragi Academy High School. Back to my question then. Have either of you seen Mayu? I have a picture of her here. I flipped open Mayu's student ID to its photo page, almost as if I were a sheriff flashing my badge, but the responses from these two were not encouraging. They exchanged a quick glance with one another, then shook their heads. 
I don't think either of us have seen her. No. I see. That's alright. There may be some clues as to her whereabouts in this camera. I rewound the tape. I rewound the tape a bit and put the camera in playback mode. Immediately horrifying image imagery begin displaying on the device tiny LCD screen. Audio was irrelevant. It seemed like the only sounds on the tape were those of Taguchi's ragged breaths and footsteps and his occasional self-mutterings. 90% of the video footage that uh, then consisted of dead bodies, while the remaining 10% was mostly just the camera autofocusing in the dim light. Each body was shot from a, from a variety of angles, so their cause of death could be easily determined. Guess he really was planning on showing this to the police. The hell is this? It's nothing but dead bodies. <laughs> Get it away. I don't want to see that. The two noisy girls were peeking in on the video's contents over my shoulders, and neither seemed certain quite how to react. Hmm. Amazing. He really did a nice job with these. So many bodies I haven't seen yet. So, so many. They're like, uh, well, whatever that word says. Paintings. They're so beautiful. Still, his technique could be better. He does little to catch the viewer's eye. There's too much restraint, too much distance. If it were me. N Nari? Okay. Um, or mm, what's the matter? Why exactly are you laughing? <laughs> laughing? Am I laughing? Yes, you're smiling and laughing. Like you're having a grand old time. Well, that's <laughs> rather odd, isn't it? <laughs> Nari, let's... Okay, I'm sorry, but we have to get going now. Going where exactly? Well, we were in the middle of searching for our friends. What's your rush? Maybe there's something I can do to help. That's quite alright. We'll handle it on our own. Goodbye now. <laughs> I think there must have been a misunderstanding. Maybe they thought I was some kind of pervert. Well, that's fine by me. It'd be a pain in the ass to change their minds anyway. Oops. <laughs> Besides, that was a rather fascinating reaction. I think I'll leave the camera here. It's Taguchi's, um, it's Taguchi's eyes, after all. No one else could possibly feel what he felt from, from anything he caught on, uh, on it. I want to keep uh, taking in these surroundings with my own eyes to keep feeling what the school has to offer in my own personal way. I want my own collection, or I suppose I just want to possess the dead. I want to make them mine. Wait, what am I thinking? I should be searching for my right now. These photos are just for stress relief. If I lost myself to despair before finding Mayu, she'd be gone forever, and I must and let that happen. Yes, this is all just one step in the long process of finding her, and I certainly can't be mixing up a single step with my end goal. But I want to see more. Okay, let me save here real quick. Uh, save, save... I gotta scroll for a long time because it just won't let me grab onto the little little dot over there. Okay, 36, right there. Okay, we're going with 30 minutes. I, I could, I could finish this chapter actually, because I'm practically almost done. Uh, if you're replaying this chapter, there will be some additional things. Okay, gotta examine you. Taguchi is completely motionless. It's impossible to tell from here if he's dead, though, or simply unconscious. Another earthquake? God damn. Hold up. Um. Okay, I don't know. After bracing myself for an indeterminate amount of time, the earthquake finally subsided. 
Okay. Save for playing this if, uh, additional scene here. If you wish to uh, pass these new scenes without a wrong ending, check replay only branch at the end of this section. Okay, whatever. There's a candle shimmering here, along with a note. Whatever you do, don't look behind you. What happens if I do? Okay. I saved earlier, but it says don't look back to get the true ending. So let's not look back. Uh, <laughs> stay back. What's wrong? Where's Fukuroi? Shut the hell up. I told you to stay back. Y you're in leagues with him, aren't you? You seem confused. What's What happened, Yam Yamamoto? Don't touch me! There's... There's blood in your hands. You... You really are... You, you really are... You're mistaken. This is from examining a dead body earlier. It's just as... It's just as I thought, then. How can you be so... Uh, cavalier about touching corpses? You're not right. <laughs> There's no getting through to her in this state, it seems. I won't be fooled. I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. <sighs> She's certainly in a mood. Living humans are so irredeemably noisy. People need to understand the value of silence. Yamamoto. Hmm. Gone already, is she? Wow. <laughs> What's that noise? Okay. I should find some place to collect myself. That's right. I can always go back there. I almost forgot about taping that production of The Barber of Seville. I have to make sure I get home in time. <laughs> okay. Damn. And here I was again. I pressed the button on my phone to shut off the second alarm I'd set. If this time display were accurate, then there was no chance of making it home in time to record the show for Mayu. I'll have to apologize to her later. I slid my finger uh, naturally, almost automatically, from shutting off the alarm to opening my folder to save photos. There was no sound in, this, in the room other than the tone of my button presses and virtually no light other than that which shone from the LCD screen. Or so it seemed, anyway. Yet, this was my rock. Um, uh, this was... Or, yet, this was my rock in this place. I could truly relax here and here alone. I felt at peace. I felt at peace. The air was filled with the overpowering aroma of blood and entrails. It would be enough to make most people vomit, for, but for me, it was a smell to save her. I'd even described it as comforting. Perhaps it's because it reminded me of that I was, uh, it reminded me that I was in her presence. Hold up. Uh, I need to go options. Actually, no, it's a uh, message speed. Uh, or no. I, uh, message speed is right here. Uh, normal, go, uh, all. There we go. She, who decorated the wall like a, fla or like a flower in full bloom. When I sat across from her, I felt more at ease than I could possibly convey in words. Mm -hmm. Hold up, I need to hide this. How do you hide again? I keep forgetting how to hide. Um, it was... which... I don't... Remember, it was X. Okay. Let me hide my webcam, though. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's, um... That's something. As you can see. Um... She's being... Hung on the wall. She's being hung on the wall. She's just not splat on the wall. She's, like, being hung up there. Um, I don't know if I read this one. It was as if she'd always be here for me. As if she would were waiting, or she were waiting for me. And sure enough, whether I felt weary or needed respite the door, or respite 
the door to this infirmary would always open for me, despite its uh, uh, ten tendency to the contrary. Contra um, each time it did, uh, too, I would always be drawn in as if the room were swallowing me up and my eyes would always happen upon this offering to first. <laughs> This girl upon the wall, slowly drawing and slowly rotting, would always be there to greet me, and never once did I tire of the sight. I've sure taken a lot, so many photos of the dead. I'd begun taking, talking to myself, or maybe I was talking to her. Within my phone, or within my phone's memory, were stored some of man's most sensual, most voluptuous objects, dart. And she was the tip of the brush, the grand prelude. I'd amazed a whole other building, or a whole other building's worth of beautiful sculptures to admire now, or to admire now too. I was thrilled to bursting. This is the one. <laughs> this was the sculpture known as Mitsuki Yamamoto. In life, but in death, she was my property. One of my many pieces of found art. Those spirit's eyes, now dulled and of uh, calamity. Those lips that spoke such harsh words, now stained with the blood. Her abdomen shredded, her innards exposed. Hold up, I need to hide this again. I need to hide that again. Okay. Morishige is, uh... Is crazy. Yeah. So alluring, so captivating was she now. Sometimes, destroying that which is beautiful only serves to make it more beautiful. And truly, this was the proof. Still, it is a shame. It was a shame that I could only gaze upon these gorgeous works of art within these school grounds. Before returning home with Mayu, I'd need to erase every one of these photographs from my phone. It seemed like such a waste. The world in which I once dwelled was far too narrow-minded to accept these masterpieces. It was often a hard place to call home. But as long as I had Maya with me, I can do could endure. And to that end, this folder was an obstacle, a detriment, a hurdle to be overcome. Before I, uh, before I could rejoin the world of the living, I needed to delete it, to put it all behind me. Well, I'm sure it'll all be fine. <laughs> if I do it after I get back. Hold up, uh... An altering universe tale. Goddamn. Um, Mire. We got all of this. Soulful testimonies unlocked. God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was something. That was absolutely something. Um, we have two more chapters left to go. I might as I might just do all of the bad endings on my own time just to complete them because I like completing them. Um, and I don't really need to record them; just need to record the main story. So I'll do all the bad endings for Shangri La on my own, and then we'll do Mire. <laughs> and then after Mire, there's Tooth, which Tooth only has one good ending and one bad ending, so that would be easy. Um. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, I, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me move this a bit. Uh, okay. 
I don't know why my camera just looks like that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I yeah, I like the I like Corpse Party. I came back to it to to uh, try and finish it, but there's still um, two other Corpse Party games afterwards. There's Corpse Party Blood Drive, and then there's Corpse Party Two. Yeah, there's other ones, but those don't really matter. I don't think Corpse Party Two confuses me though. I think it's the shortest of all the games. Um, but Corpse 42 just confuses me. It has a whole new cast and it just doesn't take place at, um, Heavenly, uh, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Peace out and bye-bye.